Spending time here in the Cocos Keeling Islands is like spending time in some amazing parallel tropical universe. You'll be hooked plotting ways to return, even to work here. And that's exactly what happened to Rick Sonderland, the island's marketing manager. I came on holidays with my family and fell in love with paradise and vowed and declared to come back. And it was four and a half years ago and happy to call Cocos home now. So why do you love it? What's not to love about Cocos? It's marine, aquatic perfection. Kite surfing, diving, surfing, anything to do with the water, it is as good as you could get anywhere. Time is very different here. It's not ruled by the clock, it's, it's ruled by the tide. Your whole focus while you're here is, is not the watch on your wrist, it's the tide. It's the only thing you need to watch for is make sure you catch the ferry. Don't want to be one minute late for the ferry. That's why we wear watches, only for the ferry. Only for the ferry. And I love the ferry, it takes you to Home Island, which is just beautiful. Home Island's totally different to West Island. You can take a half hour ferry ride across the lagoon and you basically end up in Malaysia for the day. It's a traditional Cocos Malay kampong, the old Clooney's Ross residence is there and the food is phenomenal. Have a direction island too to have that rip on your doorstep. Yeah, best beach in Australia and world-class land-based snorkeling right there. It's just jumping in and like being in a, an aquarium. It's a pretty special part of the world. Have you ever done the walk around the atoll, the whole walk? Because you can do that at low tide, can't you? Yeah, I've done it a few times. So you can go the whole way from Home Island back around to West Island. It takes about six or seven hours and it's fantastic. There's so much to see and not a single footprint anywhere except the ones you leave behind. So it's pretty special. And how about the uh, communication system here in the island? That's quite unique as well. <laughs> we, we have a distinct lack of communication system to an extent. No mobile surface. The blackboard out the front of the club is our central notice board for everything on island. If you lose something and someone finds it, it'll be there. Everything that's happening, it's on that blackboard. It just, to me, it has this whole feeling like you step off the plane, you become part of the community, you're not a visitor. Definitely. We're not a genuine, polished tourist destination in that sense. So people come and they stay for a week or two and they arrive a tourist and they leave a local. It's a very welcoming community and you really get to feel how it is to live in paradise. So it's pretty special. I'm not looking forward to leaving at all. No, like most people. So you've just got to find a way to stay. And he's right. Let me just sit and ponder the view and I'll get back to you.